yogis, I'm Camille and welcome back to my Kamiyage Aerial Yoga channel. Today's aerial yoga tutorial will be focusing on candle pose or shoulder stand in a silk. And all the inversion positions more or less are uh, very good for the blood circulation, lymph uh, moving through the body as well as our heart is resting in this pose so naturally our breath slows down and in that way the blood comes more into the brain which means increasing more brain activity and like improving memory concentration and so on before we continue with the pose i would recommend you to do some warm-ups you can find some short classes or warm-ups here in the list above my head and now let's start Step by step. So we will start by preparing our silk, which will be bent in half. Perhaps in your aerial yoga practice or going in a studios or other teachers teach it like uh, with one layer of the silk, uh, I would suggest to bend it from my own eight, eight year of practice and over a thousand students. If you are with one layer, we'll just quick show you one layer and I will just go instantly here the squeezing sensation through the neck is immense it's like it's dangerous uh, because of that too much pressure through your vertebrae and soft tissues so for that just to be safe we are bending the silk in half and then leaving the soft end where the, the neck will be so spread your silk and then go through forward and grab the other edge of the silk then you're putting both edges together same as you're doing in back straddle when we go upside down so both edges are together just make it even and these edges are quite hard and that's why it's not good when it's going on your neck it's supposed to be somewhere more on the softer areas of the body so we sit into the silk as if we're doing the back straddle that hanging upside down position so now we have this other edge which is soft and gentle and doesn't put that much pressure on your neck and it will be way pleasant to do this pose so now take the edges lean back and make sure that your shoulders would be covered since the pose is called shoulder stand so cover them up to your neck where the hair starts approximately there up to that line then Take the sides and bring your knees by your chest. So a little ball, or like a child pose. Then take the whole uh, sides of the silk and um, each arm. Of course, you can hold it like this, but for the side, it's more comfortable not to lose your feet in the silk somewhere mixing around. So just squeeze it the whole width of the silk. And then uh, bring your sides of the soles into the silk and leaning into them and then inhaling and exhaling pushing your uh, feet forward up and forward and then bringing your hips in between your arms so in here it's a little bit tricky sometimes if you are a beginner and it's a little bit scary we leave the back scooch and hunched which is not good it's too much uh, it's hard to hold it through your back muscles, uncomfortable, and it's harder to keep your balance. So in that way, it's better if you push your hips forward. Don't be afraid. If you feel too much of the silk over your neck, just bring from the side to side, but the silk would slide a little bit down more on your shoulder line. So there, so your hips in between your arms, feet flexed and active, and First of all, just being comfortable with this pose uh, because you will feel that there's a lot of blood pressure going down towards your head. But as I said, it's if we're not doing too long, it's actually healthy. So from here on, if you want to relax, just take it slow each time longer, but first time not so long. And don't forget to breathe, of course. So if you want to relax, you can just slide down. And as you will see, your pelvis will hang so you can keep it like this and just from the inside to the front hooking your feet and just taking your head to relax a little bit your neck and that the pressure the blood pressure would a little bit get harmonize and balance again before you continue 
Or if you don't feel comfortable like this, with one hand, just taking vessel if, uh, from under you and spread it out, but you can put your pelvis back into vessel, how we started. And relaxing here. And stretching your neck. So a few more breaths. If you're practicing together with me, before we continue. Okay. So now again, just make sure your shoulders are covered. Taking the whole sides of the silk and lean with your soles into it. And then inhaling, lifting up, exhaling, just making your line straight, checking your neck, checking your hips in between your arms. Neck is relaxed, more or less. And now we can continue to much more balancing and controlling of your core and that inner muscles so the deeper muscles so first you can try with one leg just in the middle for five seconds holding and perhaps changing to that other one and just playing around like this or if you feel more uh, ready for the upcoming full balancing so both legs together and then you feel that you are actually more controlling with your hands and of course the core is starting to work more vigorously so Trying to balance here in one straight line. The whole body is active. Activate your legs, glutes. Just a few more breaths. And let's go down a little bit relaxing. So again, slide that back. Either uh, with the pelvis in the silk or just wrapping around with your foot. And lift your head helping with your hands. So exhale long and soft. One big breath in, breath out. And perhaps it's enough for you today. Just relax whenever it's comfortable. Just don't overdo it, okay? But it won't make your head swing or something like that. But if it's okay, we can continue with other variations, what you can do from this pose. So when I get the slide up, uh, you can stretch your hamstrings in semi-split. So one leg is out and towards the chest. Still, try not to hunch because sometimes we're doing like this and we're just ending up laying on a silk. So hips are still in between your hands and then you're just bringing your leg as close as you as possible. Or if you already bend with legs together, you can go to the split. So both legs are going the opposite sides. So one of the leg is going forward, but the back leg is going backwards, right? That is like obvious. But what is important is your chest and your spine, which is curved. That means we are arching and pushing the chest forward. Otherwise, if my back is still straight, now I'm showing sure my back straight and I'm doing split, yeah? So the back leg will be up the ceiling. To actually make a split, I need to arch. And finding the balancing here. And changing sides. So just checking my shoulder. Okay, so the other side, semi-split. Again, check your hips. Don't be afraid you won't fall. What will worst can happen, which we will do later, is actually a flip, which is your silk is still holding you, so it's just half a flip, so don't be afraid. Coming back. Okay, so semi-split in here, drawing the leg from your core and balancing from your hands or full split, so the back leg is going away from the silk, and I'm arching, opening through a rib cage, through the neck, the front line, while the back is contracting and arching, and balancing here. Okay, and coming back a little bit again, just relax, either here or putting your pelvis all the way in, into a little ball. So a few breaths. And 
check again the shoulders so grabbing it firmly and let's again this time for the last time we're meeting in a candle and we will do uh, this time dynamical movement which is plow and candle together i'm first showing you a simply a version beginner more likely if you're just starting to get more that confident uh, into increasing that intensity so I'm exhaling and bending my knee, sliding down to little ball, and then extending my legs. And not just here, but I'm actually still drawing towards my chest, towards my nose. As close as I can, heels forward so knees are straight. And then inhaling, I'm bending my knees, putting back in the silk, and sliding up. So you can do it like this, more, uh, you know, with a movement together in breath. So exhaling, plow, inhaling, candle. And now, if you are ready, if you've been already with the legs together and balancing and so on, so you can do without touching the silk, the same thing. So we're putting legs together and candle, inhaling, exhaling, just bending through your hips towards your nose, inhaling and pushing from your core up and exhaling here, inhaling up. And if you want even more, the lower you put the legs, almost touching the ground, the more core power you will need to use. And hands, I mean arms. And when you're ready to get out of the silk, as I mentioned previously, you just can go through the flips. So it's actually very easy and you will feel in control. Either through the sliding and leaving your legs here, or coming from a cattle, meeting in a plow, and then just going closer to the ground each time. And there you go. And after this pose, don't instantly just stand up you might feel dizzy and uh, might increase the headache or something like that. So slowly, first of all, perhaps your hands going through the sides to the front or just simply put the uh, hands inside the silk from the front. Hanging in the stable pose to get this semi um, half lift. coming up and there you go guys so that was a candle pose shoulder stand tutorial in with the silk so floating candle i hope it was useful for you and please share your experience and down below in the comments or what kind of other tutorials would you like to see and learn other than that don't forget to push all the buttons like subscribe not Put the notification button and share with your friends, aerial yoga friends. And have a nice day. Happy flying. See you next time. Bye.